Chapter 2, Section 1, Writing Equations. This is for Algebra 1. This is our backbone. Everything in algebra is based upon an equation, what I have on one side compared to what I have on the other side, things that are being equal, uh, things that might be inequalities greater than, less than. But we start at the basis. It's, it's basically like writing a check, and I know I'm dating myself. When you write out an amount, and let's say $145, um, that would be part of an equation, but the actual writing equation would be writing the words out, $145. And so to do that, we need to know some, um, some basic uh, synonyms for our addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So I'm going to create a list here real quick, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this so I can get these words um, written up there a little bit faster for you to save you a little bit of time. So we're going to start with addition. So for addition, I look at some key words such as sum, S-U-M. You might also see the word plus. You could also see more. I want you to know that this, this list isn't complete. Uh, there, are, there are different words that they might throw out for you, but these are the most common, some, plus, and more. So let's move on to addition, or excuse me, subtraction. So now I look at subtraction, and you might see minus, you could see less, you might see the word decreased. Again, these are not in an, an all-inclusive list, but just a few. So let's move on to multiplication. When I get to multiplication, the two most commonly used are going to be product and times. Again, product and times. And we'll get some, some examples here in just a minute to show some of those. Let's move on to division. And most commonly used for division is going to be quotient. They might also use divided by, again, for multiplication. They might use multiplied by, but most commonly is quotient. So I'm going to write a sentence up here in just a minute, and then I'm going to uh, ask you to hit the pause button and go ahead and write it out uh, as a number. But again, I'm going to write it out in words, so just, we're just going to translate it back and forth. Okay, so my statement is 7 times a number squared is 5 times the difference of K and M. Again, I just can't quite get those fonts yet. I'm going to keep working on that. Again, 7 times a number squared is five times the difference of K and M. What I would like to do is I'd like to highlight some keywords in here. For me, the biggest keyword is is. Is is where my equal sign is going to be. So let's look at the beginning. How do I write seven times a number? Okay, so seven times a number is going to be seven And I'm going to put everything in parentheses. A number that we don't know, that's going to be an x, a y, a z. doesn't matter to me. Let's just go simple x. And then how do I square that number? I'm going to take that number to the second power. Is, there's my is, five times the difference of k and m. So I'm going to take five times, again with my parentheses, difference means subtraction, so the difference of k and m. So let's read that. 7 times a number squared is 5 times the difference of k and m. Let's have some fun with this and let's see if it'll recognize it. Oh, hello. Let's not do that. So I'm going to take that off. Well, we tried. So now I'm going to clean that up just a little bit. I want to simplify um, simplify the, the parentheses over here. So that's going to be 7x squared. Over here, I can't simplify the parentheses. Um, I could do distributive property, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as 5 parentheses k minus m. All right, next example. We are going to look at it already written out in numbers, and then we have to change it back into words. So now we have 6z minus 15 equals 45. 
So what are some things we see in there? 6z is going to be, let me, let me highlight these, 6z is going to be multiplication, 6 times z. I've got a subtraction there, so I'm going to be subtracting, let me change the color on this one, 15. And then there's my equal sign, that's my is, so I'm going to change the color on that one too. So I've got multiplication, I've got subtraction, and I've got is. So how do I take 6 times z? There are many different ways to do it. I am just going to say um, the product of 6 and z. And through a wonderful time lapse, I can put that up there instantly. Feel free to pause if you need to. Uh, just to catch up a little bit. So I've got the product of 6 and z, and I'm going to use the word decreased. I'm going to decrease that by 15. The product of 6 and z decreased by 15, and then I'll do this one live so we can catch up with each other. And I'm going to represent my equal sign with an is. So is... 45. And let's see if it'll recognize right away. Oh, I've got two different ones. Well, it makes my is really crazy little. Okay, there we go. So I have the product. Move this over a little bit. No, I don't want any of that. The product of 6 and z decreased by 15 is 45. Again, different ways you could have worded that. Maybe you did the product of 6 and a number. Decreased by 15 is 45. The difference of 15 and 6 times a number. There are so many different ways we can go here, and most of them will be correct. So if you have a question on, maybe you wrote something else down, um, you can feel free to ask me that tomorrow. So again, that finishes us with 2-1, Chapter 2, Section 1, Writing Equations.